Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash Clans video. Today, we're going to be looking at a recent war that we just had uh, post update, and it's an absolutely crazy war 14 to 10 um, against Noble Nines in a, I believe it is a CBOL esports war. So it was like a sort of officially uh, community league match um, post update with the extra troop space, extra archer towers in some cases, extra um, Teslas were an option in the war. Um, I don't think anyone's had those yet, but eventually people will be starting to upgrade the defenses. But at this point, the offense is so powerful that you could just crush anything, uh, as it seems. So let's go right into the war with uh, Noble Nines versus One Hive Prime. So you can see on our, defense of, our defensive side, we're doing pretty well on defense, um, especially against them. But on offense, we are absolutely spectacular here. We'll go through each one one by one, and um, I think I'll leave uh, mine for the last one. So first, let's start with Peter and the Spam Earth, and the uh, Zap Lalo. That's what I meant to say. So zapping the Clan Castle and all the surrounding defenses uh, is able to take down uh, the Wizard Tower and uh, Wizard Tower Warden. I think there was a sweeper there and um, do some damage on that expo. Now on the bottom side he's going to sui his heroes. So King is going in for the uh, air defense there and should be able to get the eagle as well. And the queen actually has a different job. She's not going to go in directly behind the king. She's actually going to go by this uh, by the gold storage and is going to sui over to the scattershot area. Now on the right side you'll see that the Unfortunately, the RC didn't quite get the Inferno Tower, so that's a bit of a problem for this raid, but it's only a single Inferno Tower, so you can easily sneak in um, three or four loons there and definitely get that down. Um, as this Ice Golem pops, that's a, a freeze on the Expo and the Scattershot, allows the Queen to take it out, and then she's able to save the ability for the RC. So now, like, sort of almost half of the space is taken out already. And he still has uh, a couple hundred housing space worth of Lalo. So Blimp goes for the Town Hall first, which isn't always the greatest idea. You also, you also want to have um, uh, the... Well, I guess it's a it's a different case in this case. Since he had, he had Sneaky Goblins in the Blimp. So it doesn't really matter that he had... Um, that you would want a uh, the Warden nearby in order to give... If there were loons in the CC, then you would want the warden nearby to give the loons a bit of extra health. But in this case, having the just a hound and um, a hound and sneaky goblins, it's fine to just have the warden elsewhere. So anyway, he's able to take out the left side with a swarm of loons and the warden, and then also using headhunters to take out the remaining heroes. So he's left with a bunch of loons and a single wizard tower and a Tesla left up. And that's going to be it for this base. Um, actually, there is there is the um, Inferno Tower, but I think the Warden's going to snipe it. So yeah, that's the first attack of the new meta uh, for, for Peter. So next, let's go right up in the map to number four. Bad Blue Penguin is going to use a Dragon Attack. And since we've had an extra 20 troop spaces added, um, it makes the spam attacks a lot easier to do. Uh, a lot easier to pull off, rather. So what it means is that having a lot of the same troop, which is sort of, we sort of say is a spam troop, um, even though with this entry, makes it a little bit more strategic and, and stuff. But there are a lot of spam strategies that do benefit from having the 20 troop space. Um, it just means that you don't have to be as efficient with your troops. So, um, and when you don't have to be as efficient, you, you, can, um, you can enter anywhere and it'll be just a little bit more likely to succeed. So the entry is able to get the queen, I believe. Um, queen, almost the RC. 
able to get a scatter shot, and it looks like you got an air defense as well. And now just throwing in all the drags on the left side, and letting them sort of funnel themselves in. Although he would have done a little bit better with uh, a dragon or two on the left side. And using a blimp to guarantee the town hall, and he also has six bat spells for the back end. Um, as we see on the on the right side, there's just one wizard tower at um, five o'clock, and one wizard tower at uh, six ish. So those are the only threats to these bats. No multi inferno towers. No um, scatter shots left, and that's that's really powerful. The scatter shots are extremely powerful at Town Hall 13, as we all know, and definitely a threat to bats. Um, adding two extra buildings at Town Hall 13 that are able to splash damage on the bats. Really makes it harder to pull off, but when you're able to sui for one of them and then uh, send dragons straight at the other, it makes it way more valuable. Uh, makes it makes it actually valuable. So now at this point he has the the he has um, four dragons left up and a lot of bats and just has a bunch of trash buildings and. These bats take a really long time to get through these storages. Um, way longer compared to the trash buildings. It's it's interesting to know that, or it's interesting to to watch that. They just seem like they're not doing any damage to these storages. Probably because they aren't. Not no damage, but here's a little tease of the base. But you're gonna go for base number two first and. Uh, look at my attack, the last one. That's the last one. So, Tricky doing the traditional hybrid with 20 extra troops. Well, zap on this uh, scatter shot Inferno Tower. So, a little bit more, a uh, little bit little bit newer than the traditional hybrid. But still, hogs and miners. Queen charge starting from the 9 o'clock. She's going to be charging into this town hall area. So that's the reason for the baby dragon at the top, and going to be uh, funneling a little bit more at the top as well. So Queen's trying to get into this Archer Tower area. Um, looks like she's going to be able to do that, um, even with the gold mine at the top there uh, staying up. This Queen's actually going to pull her in, or RC rather, not the Queen. So Queen's able to get in there. Now here's the problem, he has the poison on the CC, and it's nice that this CC is a little bit, um, the poison was well placed because then the headhunters are able to, uh, the headhunters are like distracted a little bit by the walls, so they had to jump over and that delayed them a bit, and delayed them from the, uh, the poison spell. So with the Queen, one Rage and uh, her ability, she's able to take care of basically the um, the half of the base that's not as compact, and then the hybrid is able to easily overpower um, compact areas of the base. Um, as long as there's not too much splash damage, which in, in some cases there is, um, especially on this side. So on the right side, you'll, you'll see that the um, Tesla farm on the right side unfortunately takes out almost all of his wizards from the um, siege barracks. So he's not able to get as much cleanup going as he wanted to, and nothing um, and nothing from his hybrid army has gone over to the scatter shot. So at this point he does have the healers still up, so he's relying on the RC along with the healers to take out that scatter shot. And that's exactly what he's going to be able to do. The miners are on the left side, uh, take down the yeah, trash buildings, that's going to take uh, keep the time low. So this RC is going to be able to take out the scatter shot with um, relatively high HP left, and it's just a matter of time. But I think there is plenty of time on this attack. And then we'll finish off with uh, my attack, which spoiler alert included a uh, super Valkyrie, which is very interesting. So yeah, zap Lalo with the super Valkyrie. So. My idea here was that there's no reason with the uh, Sui that I'm about to do, that you'll see in a second, uh, there's no reason to bring any other um, super troop. So super goblins, there's no 
real way to use them on this uh, on the space to funnel and the super wall breakers can be a little bit inconsistent i'm not sure if a super wall breaker would actually be able to take out the uh the corner wall by the air defense uh because of the because of the amount of damage over there but the super valkyrie is able to deploy a rage spell so the barb king is able to get a little bit extra damage off but not very much to be honest so it was kind of a waste but i don't know kind of looks cool and it's kind of fun to just just to see the potential there. So Queen, I was very surprised, actually went back on the left side to uh, to take out the Town Hall rather than going into the Mortar. The reason why the Mortar is three tiles away from the edge uh, in the walls is so is exactly so the Queen would uh, walk over there on the outside of the wall in order to take it out and thus um, keeping the Town Hall safe. But... Uh, instead, the Queen's able to re redirect and kind of save this attack, although I'm pretty sure I could have uh, could have finished the attack anyway. So, um, Stone Slammer, in my opinion, is probably the best um, Siege Machine to use with this strategy, uh, because with the Battle Blimp, you'll, all you can do is um, get at the Town Hall or maybe go a little bit faster into the Sweeper. Uh, but this, the... Um, the Slammer is able to take down a bunch of defenses and is able to be protected from splash damage, which is exactly what happened. So it went from one... I'm not sure if it made it to the first scatter shot, but it made it to the middle Inferno Tower, which is actually the point um, of placing it on the left side. And was able to go from from that all the way to the second scatter shot, which is uh, not exactly what I was um, hoping... or not exactly what I was going for, but it's definitely... Um, is definitely ideal for the situation. It's able to leave this base with <laughs> tens of loons stacked up, probably about 15 loons and a dragon still left. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you learned something. I've been Raised Gaming, and I'm out.